hello welcome back to my channel so today I'm just showing you a quick breakfast idea and this is the day after Salah I went to visit my friend yesterday and she gave me some ram meat so that is what is inspiring my breakfast so I'm starting off by blending pepper and onions this is something I always have in my fridge so I'm doing a batch because I'll use some of it for the egg that I want to make so this is how I do it I use a processor so that it has that nice chopped you know look and it's very pretty to look at next I'm going to crack some eggs in a bowl typically I crack my eggs one by one in a bowl before I put them together and that is to avoid like spoilage you know sometimes one egg can be spoiled but I bought these eggs fresh so I was confident in them so now I'm just going to season my eggs with this is garlic salt parsley uh, mixture I will also be adding some thyme you season your egg how you like it so I have some chicken stock powder I'll also be putting some curry powder I'll also be adding my pepper mixture just look how pretty it is you guys put as much as you like <laughs> so now this is the leftover soya so it's balangu and she gave it to me yesterday this is kitchen muse so I went to her house for sala and she gave me this but I didn't finish it so I took it home so it has bits of soya pepper and then the ram meat and this reminds me of my time at Igbenidion University we had um, these guys that used to make me we call it mishai and they fry your egg for you with like suya or beef and they put it inside the bread and make a sandwich with it and it is so delicious so that is what I'm trying to make this morning I felt like I needed one more egg so I added one more and we're just going to mix everything together I also felt like I needed more pepper like I feel like dried pepper has a different flavor from fresh pepper so I added that and you guys know I like pepper so use it according to your tolerance but I'm just going to mix everything and set it aside then we're going to face the bread this beautiful looking bread this is not just any ordinary bread this is coconut bread but something you have to look out for in this bread is texture for you to get it right what you need is agege bread and the thing about agege bread is that it is very thick it is a very interesting texture of bread and when you press it in my head I used to compare it to fufu I'm like when you press this bread it is like fufu that is the kind of bread you are looking for not bread that is light bread that is heavy do you understand it's what you're looking for so this is one portion I've cut out and then I'll cut out the other portion so I'm making two one for myself and one for my husband and I feel like this is going to just bring back school memories from <laughs> Ibinidion if you went to Ibinidion let me know in the comments section Now can you see the bread? This is what the texture looks like. It is very thick, very soft and when you press it, it just compresses. Do you get? That's what you need. That's the kind of bread you need. And the bread, this bread is a bit sweet but you do not need a bread that is like sweet sweet. This is because it's coconut bread but it was the one that had the perfect texture. In a pan we're going to add some vegetable oil you need a bit of vegetable oil because after cooking the egg after frying the egg you need a bit of that oil to toast the bread as well that is what gives it the authentic flavor so I'm just going to allow the oil heat up and then I'm going to pour in a mixture of the egg and beef
now you do not want the egg to scatter you want it to like pan fry like this so that when you flip it over it has a uniform look and a uniform color and the color should be like a bit crispy and brown so it is not tenderly fried egg it is not gently fried egg it is properly fried egg so you're going to flip it around now and as you can see that color at the back that is what you're looking for this is actually perfect <laughs> this is how i like my meshai so you just continue frying till the other part is cooked and that takes just a couple of minutes let's say a minute or two if you're an og viewer you will notice something different about this video if you notice it let me know also in the comment section now that the egg is fried you're going to transfer it to the sliced bread so once you transfer it to the middle of the bread you close the bread press it together and then put it back on the pan and you press it down you can use your hands you can use the spatula but you need to press this thing down because it is what is going to make the toast the bread toast properly and make it crunchy and crispy on the outside which is what you want now I'm going to flip the bread and you will see that it is beautifully toasted on the other side and I could not wait to dig in but I had to make the next one. <laughs> So I'll just do the same thing I did earlier for the next one, fry the egg and then put it in the bread and make a toast of it. This is something I really, really used to enjoy back in the days in uni and it is just good to be able to relieve moments just by what you eat you guys and i'm happy that i got ram this salad <laughs> did you get ram <laughs> this is something that you can have for breakfast you can have it for lunch you can have it for dinner i actually used to have it for dinner a lot in school but i was having it for breakfast today and this is just a meal idea meal inspiration if you're looking for more meal ideas and inspirations i have a food timetable that can last you a couple of weeks a couple of months if you spread it and if you want to get it you can download it through the link in the description box i'll put it there for you it gives you ideas for breakfast lunch and dinner so you can take advantage of it After this breakfast, I was completely knocked out, but we didn't have it alone. So I had it with like coffee and I mixed my coffee with hot chocolate and I used full cream milk. You know, there's a difference <laughs> between skim milk, heavy cream and all of that. I used full cream milk to get the 100% effect. And after eating, I was so, so full. Anyway, I decided to share this with you guys. I hope you liked this video. It was just a quick video that I put together and sometimes I like to post based on you know I just film a video and I post it so I hope you enjoy this if you like this video please click the like button don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and even if you subscribe click the notification bell button you guys is actually important I did research on my channel and I found out that 80% of you that are subscribed did not turn on notifications so anytime I upload a video you actually do not get notified and you do not get it so please please turn on notifications so that every time I upload a video you can see it thank you for watching today's video don't forget to get my cookbook in the description box and also my food timetable in the description box I'll see you in my next video bye